Okay, guys, so welcome back to another one. This is um, Nairobi Archives area where all the Matatus come and park. Kind of like a taxi park where people just come and grab Matatus to go to different you know, places of Nairobi. So, still with my tour guide here, Aggie, we're going to a different place. These are the Matatus here, very colorful. There you go. So, in this area here, another Matatu here going past. Nairobi, we got a city shuttle over here. Okay. Careful, bro. I must say, Nairobi is a very um, efficient, you know, city where everybody's on, you know, on the move. No time wasting. You just have to be concentrating where you're going because people will just bump into you like, yo bro, get out of the way. So, like that lady out there, she doesn't care about her head hitting the camera. <laughs> so you gotta be careful when you're in Nairobi. Be on point when you're moving because people, they don't care what you're doing. Yeah. Like that lady right there, she just walked straight into me like, she doesn't care. <laughs> Alright, so we're in this street right here. What's this street here? Hotel. It's like Kencom. Here we call it Kencom. Mm -hmm. But this is Hilton Hotel. This is the building we call Kencom. Okay, so we've got Hilton Hotel right here. Amazing building. Okay, so we've got people over here selling, you know, magazines and stuff. Guys are chilling over here reading the paper. So we are heading okay. to the site where the KICC, the tallest, the tall building to get the Nairobi view. The view of the Say that again, where are we heading? Yeah, you see the tall building uh -huh. where you can get a nice view of Nairobi. Okay. Yeah, it's a very cool, cool building. Okay, so we're heading to this building that Aggie just said. KICC. 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 It's called KICC. Kenyatta International Convention Center. All right, that's where we're heading. Where you can, I'm gonna give you guys the view of the whole city. Uh -huh. Stay tuned. So, guys, as we continue to walk to go to where we're going. Here, I wanted to ask Aggie a question because I've noticed something here in Nairobi which reminds me of Addis Ababa. So, on the streets of um, Nairobi, especially uptown, you don't see a lot of street vendors and street foods. Why yeah. is that the case? Because here, it's, uh, it's, most of the things here is government building and okay. it's kept clean. Right. It, should be, it shouldn't be the same as downtown. Yeah. So here, at least we have another side of uptown at least to differentiate the uptown and the, and the downtown Nairobi. so here those all, all other things are restricted and it should be clean you know it's true like these streets are very clean. yeah like she said these streets are very very clean as yeah. you can see guys because and, uh, the government building like here you see the parliament mm. the, there's governor's office there so yeah. those are where the government buildings are so these are all government buildings yeah yeah even this one we are going to but uh, yeah, there's a Supreme Court here, and okay. Parliament is behind that building, and there's a governor's office. So. Okay, cool. So we've got the Supreme Court here, and uh, okay, so that's why these are all government buildings and stuff. But I've noticed overall, and as you see, look, <laughs> he stopped and anyone to drive. So here, they stop at the black crossing. Yeah. <laughs> so here in Nairobi, as you just seen right there, even yeah. though one of them wanted to continue, yeah. they stop at the zebra crossing. Yeah, they stop. Yeah, so yeah. when there's people ready to cross, they will stop for you guys to cross. Unlike in different countries like Uganda. <laughs> but yeah, so here, mm -hmm. streets are very, you know, they're kept very clean, but it's kind of like a same thing I said when I was in Addis Ababa. Um, it contributes because obviously there's not too much street vendors or street foods on these streets. So yeah. People are not really uptown is different. Yeah, just so, business. Just business. Yeah. So, but not food business. <laughs> just clothes and stuff like that. Okay. We we'll continue. You might be wondering where we are, but like I said, this is beautiful Nairobi. And I know some of you guys might be thinking, oh, that looks like somewhere like Dubai or whatever. So you might be asking yourself, is this Dubai or is this Africa? This is the beautiful Nairobi, Kenya. These are the kind of things they don't show you on TV. So, 
Don't be wondering if this is a different country or Europe or whatever. This is the beautiful mother Africa, Kenya, Nairobi. So these are the places, obviously, amazing places. This uptown Nairobi. These are the things that obviously that the Western media are not going to show you on TV. That's why it's always our jobs, our, us, the content creators, to come here and show you these amazing places. So we're about to go into this place here. And I'm going to show you some more of beautiful Nairobi. So guys, this is the entrance right here. Look at this. Beautiful, man. Nairobi is beautiful. Got pension towers up there. Okay. We're going we're gonna to go through security here and then make our way inside. So here, they're renovating the area. That's why they're not allowing a lot of people to go in there. As you can see, people over there working. But I just wanted to show you guys this monument here. It's very important to... Kenyan history. This was their first president, Mze Jomo Kenyatta, as he sits on his crown right there. I wanted to come in here and show you guys, guys the monument, but I can't get closer because they're doing renovations and security is telling me not to go in. All right, thank you. So, all in the same area, but for us, we're making our way up there. That's where we're going to be, at the rooftop. Let me talk to you guys. So I wanted to come up here, guys, to give you this view here. Um, one of the tallest buildings here in Nairobi it gives you an amazing view of the whole city that's why I'm here and I'll take you guys with me and show you the views they're pretty amazing okay let's go we have to take the stairs all the way up to the top floor it's gonna be windy but it should be cool so as you're walking up it's a bit tricky because it's got some spiral steps up here as you can see so you gotta be careful as you're going all the way up. And here we are. Look at this, ladies and gents. Look at that. Beautiful Nairobi, Kenya. This is why I wanted to come up here to show you this, guys. Look at that. That's where we were, right down there. Even me, your boy who doesn't like heights are not my thing. But this view is just amazing. I had to come and check it out. Look at that. Yes, guys, this is not Dubai. This is the beautiful Nairobi, Kenya. Okay. So, of course, as you come up to the roof, the wind picks up, it gets a bit windy. I'm sure you guys can feel the breeze. As you come up to the roof, it's gonna be windy, but hopefully the sound is clear. You guys can hear me. So to come up here, it's not free. Um, for foreigners, obviously, like in different countries, they overcharge us. A bit unfair, as you, you might think, but it is what it is. It's their country, their rules, right? So for foreigners, you pay 500 bob, 500 Kenyan shillings. And for obviously Kenyan citizens here, they pay 200 shillings so it's all good but this is what i have to go through to bring you guys some content as guys over here chilling on the stairs taking in the views right here we go right at the top people come up here to enjoy the views take pictures aggie over here vlogging a bit as well ash over there taking some pics Nairobi, Kenya. Let me give you a 360. They've got some cameras up here as well. I think I don't know if you put coins in there to see, you know, to get a better view. But I don't know how they work. Up here. CBK pension towers over here. Uh, Bungee tower up here. So Agi, what have you got to say about this view? The view is beautiful. Our uh, city is so beautiful and this is where you can get the nice view of Nairobi, the whole of Nairobi actually. And very beautiful buildings and tall buildings. Yeah. So right. if you want to come and explore Nairobi, make sure to visit this place and enjoy the view of the city. That's the expressway you can see here. Okay. Yeah. That's the expressway over there. This is those buildings, those buildings in Upper Hill. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's an upper hill building. Like upper hill building. Yeah. Should we get down and get close? Excuse me. So, Aggie was saying, um, that's a beautiful expressway up here. Aggie, what were you talking? What were you saying about those buildings up there? Those are uh, buildings in Upper Hill. I think that is Bicham Towers mm. and yeah, Bunge Towers and all that. So our Parliament is around here. The Parliament. Yeah, is this is the Parliament. You see the clock. Uh, the oh, the, where the clock tower is? Yeah. That's the parliament. That's, the parliament, yeah. Yeah. that's where we walked in, right? Yeah. That's where we came. Okay, we came on the other side, but oh, okay. they line up with this government buildings. All, all of them are the same place. Look at this parking, man. So yeah. beautiful. I know, right? Look at all these cars. Yeah. Well parked and stuff. So, man, Nairobi is a beautiful city, man. Well organized. And as you can see from up here, it's very green as well. So, it's not a dry city. Don't let people lie to you very green city kept very clean as well and it's very what i really like about nairobi is that he's literally a lot of things are in order as you can see man beautiful roads not too much chaos i haven't seen too much chaos anyway so far so so good we got the kenyatta university city campus down there so yeah guys this is the view i wanted to show you guys so now my question to you guys is when you visit Nairobi, would you come here and take in these amazing views up here? That's my question to you. I recommend it. You should come and check it out. And yeah, share the vid, like the vid, sub, and all of that good stuff. I'm going to bring you more uh, amazing places here in Nairobi. Stay tuned as my peoples over here enjoy themselves. Because obviously, as you, as you can see, we're literally at, at the rooftop of this KICC building here and what you see um, I was told that side over there that um, where the expressway goes that's where Westlands is area where we're staying in we've got Echo Bank over there loads of tall skyscrapers and on this side up here there's a railroad track up there with some old um, trains up there parked up and we've got what's that gq g geo bank as well uh we've got kenya power up here and that gentleman over there on the billboard you can see he's a kenyan legend he's a sprinter i forgot what his name is guys if you're watching drop his name in the comments and over there on the billboard doing um phantom series phone adverts but he's a kenyan legend sprinter or runner Okay. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Something is kind of fake to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Say what you want to say to me now. guys so we just left the building um, I showed you the views I showed you this area here um, amazing views of Nairobi and I'm gonna end it here so if you're in Nairobi like I said earlier and you're looking for a place where you can see the aerial view of um, the whole city um, where it gives you like a 360 view it's amazing here on top of the KICC building here in central Nairobi come check it out amazing uh, tourist um, attraction all right I'll catch you on the next one. Come on then.